Good evening, this is your AI host, Jay. I'm here with the automatically generated, Jernita, evening headlines on February 1st, 2023. A whisper away from the Russian border, Ukrainian troops wait for another assault on Sumy. The Guardian, Ukraine is relying on Soviet-era tanks to hold the line until Western reinforcements arrive. CNN, Russia tightens grip around Bakhmut as Ukraine awaits Western tanks. Kremlin welcomes bounty offer for destroying Western tanks in Ukraine. Reuters, commander says Western tanks will give Ukraine battlefield advantage. ABC News, Ukraine urges speedy delivery of tanks as Russian rockets kill five. ITV News, Russian invasion, Ukraine got US, German tanks but needs planes. Bloomberg, NATO is in a proxy war with Russia, Bremer. George Santos turns on OAN reporter after she asks him to, sincerely, apologize to voters for lying. The Independent, see Tapper's reaction to new Santos interview. CNN, Santos, I've learned my lesson. The Hill, George Santos opponent Robert Zimmerman wishes he could have done more during the campaign. The Washington Post, Rep. George Santos gets angry at OAN host when challenged over lies. Dying for sex, endangered male quolls may be mating themselves to death instead of sleeping, scientists say. The Guardian, sex and no sleep may be killing endangered quolls. BBC, Australia's insatiable quolls are mating themselves to extinction. The Times, Australia, how sex and no sleep fit make quolls finish for Earth. Could the dodo be revived? US-based firm Colossal Biosciences announces project to bring back extinct flightless bird. Sky News, gene editing company hopes to bring dodo back to life. The Guardian, scientists pledge to de-extinct the dodo. The Telegraph, dead as a dodo. The unsettling bid to bring back extinct species. Financial Times, bring back dodo. Ambitious plan draws investors, critics. Alex Murdor trial, live, Sun Paul's cell phone data narrows down time of murders to seconds. The Independent, live, Alex Murdor trial for killings of wife, son, day 8, ABC News. ABC News, Paul and Maggie Murdor's haunting final text messages are revealed. Daily Mail, live, day 8, court convenes Wednesday for fourth day of testimony. Live 5 News WCSC, Alex Murdor's final text to wife Maggie after murder revealed. Are sanctions working? Why Russia's economy continues to grow? The Independent, IMF reverses negative 2023 forecast for Russian economy. The Moscow Times, failed miserably, Putin's aid mocks US-led West as IMF upgrades Russian economy forecast. Hindustan Times, trying to bankrupt Russia could backfire. Reuters, the real impact of Western sanctions on Russia. Myanmar coup anniversary, silent strike marks two years of military rule. BBC, Myanmar remains in social and economic crisis since military seized power, BBC News. BBC News, Myanmar anti-coup forces retain optimism in face of air attacks. Al Jazeera English, the quest for hope in Myanmar. The Hindu, in Myanmar, Delhi adopts a cautious stance with junta. George Santos News, live, Santos steps down from committees and clashes with OAN reporter. The Independent, Republic Representative George Santos quits U.S. House panel following charges of lying, U.S. News, News 18 Live. CNN News 18, George Santos to step down from House committees. BBC, George Santos tells Republicans he won't serve on committees. Andrew Tate, influences appeal against detention rejected by Romanian judges. BBC, Andrew Tate and brother Tristan appeal against second 30-day detention in Romania. Daily Record, Andrew Tate appears in court in Romania as his lawyers argue he should be released. Sky News, Andrew Tate appears in Romanian court to appeal detention. ITV News, Andrew Tate appears in Romanian court as lawyers argue he should be released. Exiled Bolsonaro lives it up in Florida as legal woes grow back home. The Guardian, ousted Brazilian President Bolsonaro asks for U.S. tourist visa. The Independent, Bolsonaro seeks U.S. tourist visa, latest news, WION. WION, Brazil's Jair Bolsonaro vows to remain active in politics. 
NDTV, Brazil's former President Bolsonaro applies for six-month U.S. tourist visa. Ty Nichols' family demand justice on Eva funeral. BBC, Ty Nichols' brother feels guilty for his death. Here's why. CNN, live updates, funeral for Ty Nichols. US News and World Report, yes, these police videos are awful to watch, but we must not look away. US accuses Russia of violating key nuclear arms control treaty. The Guardian, Russia denies US allegations it is violating New START nuclear treaty. Financial Times, since Soviet era, there's always been ongoing conflict over strategic arms reduction talks. France 24 English, Putin's tit for tat over nuke deal with US, Biden claims Russia blocking on-site inspections. Hindustan Times, US says Russia is not complying with New START nuclear arms treaty. Iran, couple jailed for 10 years over viral video showing them dancing at Tehran landmark. Sky News, Iran dancing couple given 10-year jail sentence. BBC, Iranian couple who posted video of themselves dancing in the street, jailed for 10 years. Evening Standard, young Iranian couple sentenced to prison for dancing in front of Tehran landmark. France 24 English, Iranian couple filmed dancing in Tehran are jailed for 10 years. Joe Biden, US President's Beach House in Delaware searched by US Justice Department. Sky News, FBI search President Biden's home in Delaware. BBC, the media is blowing Biden's documents, scandal, out of proportion. The Guardian, Joe Biden's Delaware Beach House searched by FBI. Missing radioactive capsule found in Australia. BBC, missing radioactive capsule found in Australia, BBC News. BBC News, I study how radiation interacts with the environment, and the capsule lost in WA is a whole new ball game. The Conversation Indonesia, the needle in the haystack, radioactive capsule found in Australia after extensive search. Guardian News, how a tiny radioactive capsule was found in Australia's vast outback. This was all for the news. Thanks for listening. Please do not forget to like and subscribe.